Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, there is going to be today, this afternoon actually, there's going to be a 90-foot asteroid that's going to go by the Earth. It's going to be pretty close actually, 217,000 miles from the surface of the Earth. Now that's closer than the moon, but not close enough for any alarm. According to NASA, it's really not that big a deal because it's, you know, it's a 90-foot asteroid, okay, but last year we had 21 asteroids that went by the Earth closer than this one. It does have a few rocks with it. Doesn't mean it couldn't, we couldn't see a meteor or, or two uh, in the next uh, 24 hours, but it's a non-event, okay? It's called, um, the name of this asteroid is 2014 DX110, and that's why you're not hearing a whole lot of chatter or a whole lot of, uh, the experts are not really focusing on it much because it really isn't that big of a deal. Like I said, we had 21 asteroids similar in size to this one last year that went by the Earth closer than this one. Now, NASA doesn't uh, usually even tell you about it till after the fact, sometimes because they don't see it. Or if they do see it, they don't tell us till after it just whizzes by. But more importantly, I want to focus with you is Comet Linear. Because Comet Linear is a whole new ball game. This is a comet that's going to be the closest ever to pass by the Earth since we've been able to record them the closest since 1770. And it will be closer than any comet has ever come by the Earth. It will start, and this will happen right around May 24th will be its very closest point, about a million miles from the Earth. But it has a huge debris field, not debris trail like Comet Ison. Now, the Comet Ison was 40 million miles from the Earth, but had a tremendously long, uh, extensive debris uh, trail that we passed through twice and had quite a few meteorites from it, but nothing of major magnitude. Thank the Lord for that. Now, we, the Bible does say that there will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And men's hearts will fail them for fear uh, looking after these things that are coming upon the earth. Now, we realize that uh, the comet linear has two things I look at with it. Number one, it is the closest a comet's ever went by. Number two, it's the same day the Pope will step foot in Jerusalem, Pope Francis I, and maybe it's, it's, it's in between these four blood moons, and it may be right around the time they're about ready to sign a covenant with many, the peace agreement spoken of in Daniel 9.27. It's in the ballpark of any of those events. Uh, and with that, that, that raises a couple eyebrows to keep an eye on it, plus the fact that it has a huge debris field that we're going to pass through. It takes us about three days or so to get fully through the worst of it. And uh, we'll give you more information about that the closer we get. Right now, let you know, no harm, no foul on this asteroid today. Asteroid 2014 DX110 uh, will go by uneventful this afternoon, Lord willing. And hopefully uh, we might see a meteor or two. I don't expect anything major. Uh, the USA Today did a report on it, uh, according to NASA, uh, space, uh, it's really, really, uh, but this doesn't mean there's anything about this that they're concerned about as this rocks, as this rock goes whizzing by, uh, this is why astronomers aren't packing up their cars and headed to the hills as a 90-foot asteroid swings between the Earth and the moon, uh, this afternoon, May, March the 5th, 2014, this is the latest one goes by. Uh, it's getting a lot of attention as a close approach, because it is close. I mean, it's close. It's closer than the moon. But, as I said, it uh, is not going to hit us, and we've had 21 asteroids last year that were closer. Uh, my only concern is, why do they not tell us sometimes till after the fact, at least this one we know in advance? I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Are you saved? You know, it's time to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are truly living in the last days, and we're seeing the signs of his return. God bless. I'll be back with more information in just a moment.